The United States has worked in lockstep with our allies and partners around the world to make sure you, the Ukrainian people are in the strongest possible position to defend their nation, their families, and against the brutal, the truly brutal aggression of Russia. We haven't seen the likes of this in a long time. The United States and Europe are fully united. Armored capability, as uh, General Austin will tell you, speak, uh, uh, is, has, been, has been critical. And that's why the United States has committed hundreds of armored fighting vehicles to date, including more than 500 as part of the assistance package we announced last Friday. And today, today I'm announcing that the United States will be sending 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine. So we're also giving Ukraine the parts and equipment necessary to effectively sustain these tanks on the battlefield. And we begin, we'll begin to train the Ukrainian troops on these issues of sustainment, logistics, and maintenance as soon as possible. So the United States, standing shoulder to shoulder with allies and partners, is going to continue to do all we can to support Ukraine. Putin expected Europe and the United States to weaken our resolve. He expected our support for Ukraine to crumble with time. He was wrong. He was wrong. And he was wrong from the beginning, and he continues to be wrong. We are united. America's united, and so is the world. Und deshalb ist es richtig, and that's why it's right and with full intention. That's why we're going step by step on our way forward. We are going to continue to follow this principle in the future. It is the only principle that guarantees security for Europe and Germany in such a dangerous matter. And that now also applies to the latest decision that the German government has made. We will also provide the Leopard 2 main battle tanks to Ukraine. This is the result of intensive consultation again with our allies and international partners. And I want to say explicitly that it was right and it is right that we did not allow ourselves to drift, but that we rely on this close cooperation in such a matter and are also going to continue it. We are going to start training very quickly now. We will very quickly clarify the supply routes, and I think the first Leopard tanks can be in Ukraine in about three months. There are two top goals of the German government and the Federal Republic of Germany. One is that we support Ukraine in its fight for the sovereignty of its country, for as long as it's necessary. And the second is not to become a party to the war ourselves.